In this video, I'm going to show you how to use quick grouping to improve your speed and enhance your workflow while you're working within Cakewalk by BandLab. Also, it'll be notable to mention that if you go up here to Views, you can actually go to Auto Track Zoom. This will allow you to move one and they'll all move at the same time so that you can see something on all of the tracks at once. For instance, if I hold the control button and I move the volume on the first track, now I can see them moving on every track. By holding the control button, it automatically groups all of the tracks together. Now this does not work on the buses, however. So if I was to quick group and move my faders up and down on the track, uh, the console, it would not affect the bus. If I do this on the bus channel, however, it will affect all of the buses. So they are separate and distinct from that. Another area where this can be useful is if I go to my console view, I hold my control button and click show or hide pro channel. I can now open the pro channel to every single track at the exact same time. By holding the control button again, right clicking, I can insert a console emulator if I wanted to on every track at once. By default, it will automatically put whatever plugin that you just put on there at the bottom. But as you can see, by holding the control button, I can actually move each and every one of these at the same time. How else could this be useful? Well, if I have my console emulator now put on this mix that I'm working on, by holding the control button and clicking enable, I can now disable that console emulation across all of these channels at once. By holding it and clicking again, I can enable them all at once. So it'll be a really quick and easy way to see if console emulation is something I'd like to go through with this mix. Let's hear it before and after console emulation. So as you can see, quick grouping tracks is a really easy way to maybe hear what an instance of a plugin would do on all of the tracks at once, or to just insert certain plugins all at once. And obviously, if you're working on a mix and everything needs to come down, you can just simply hit the control button, or hold the control button, I should say, and pull that whole mix down in a sense, saving your headroom for mastering later. Hope this has been helpful. If it has been, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. And every time I release another video, you'll be the first to know.